Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. This is our lecture number six uh, for the solution of classical mechanics. And this is the part six for the solution of this book that is Mechanics and Properties of Matter by A.B. Gupta. In this series, we discuss about the uh, question asked in this book uh, uh, in, in from chapter one to ongoing. So in this video, I want to discuss question number 19 to 27 of chapter 2 that is the mechanics of particle so if you want to watch the previous lectures of this series you can go to the description box link are given there also if you want to watch the different physics related theoretical part and the problem solution part you can go through the description box you will be get the different uh, playlist link you can get access if you want right so let's start today's discussion question number 19 19 says a particle of mass m at rest at this position a00 is subjected to this force find the time taken by particle to reach the origin so you need to find out the time to reach the origin so this is the force force is mass into acceleration and this can be written as v into dv dx right you know this uh, this is nothing but this acceleration equals to acceleration uh, equals to d2 uh, d, dv dx dv dx sorry dv dt this can be written as dv dx into dx dt so this is nothing but v so this is v into dv dx right so acceleration can be written as like that okay so this acceleration is written as like this so v dv equal to minus alpha by m dx by x s q so this is integrating both side you will be get v square by 2 and this is minus 1 by 2 x square okay so put this initial uh, condition that is at t equal to 0 this velocity becomes 0 that means x equal to a that is the initial condition so uh, condition from where you will be get the value of 2c1 after that you will be get the expression of velocity and this v equal to dx dt so dt equal to like that and then integrating from a uh, when, uh, 0 the time is 0 the x equals to a and by time t this reaches its origin that is x equal to 0 so you will be get the expression of t simple next question a particle of mass m moves in a xy plane uh, subject to this equation that is the position vector so that the force acting the particle always directed to origin so for force you know mass into acceleration so from position vector you can get acceleration by derivative first derivative gives the velocity so derivative of this one gives you velocity and second derivative of this one you will be get the acceleration so force is mass into acceleration so putting the mass into acceleration you will be get the answer here the negative sign of r says r is the outward the origin and minus r is the towards the origin okay next question a particle of unit mass that is m equals to 1 move according to equation this this is the position vector find the force acting on it then torque and then angular momentum and then verify this relation so this is the position vector taking the first derivative you will be get the velocity taking another derivative with respect to time you will be get the acceleration so force is nothing but mass into acceleration so mass is a unit so the acceleration becomes like that 6 i cap plus 10 j cap torque is nothing but r cross f r is the position vector f is the force so the position vector equal to this one and force equal to 6 10 so if you uh, cross product these two things you easily find out this expression minus 10 t i cap plus 6 t j cap plus 20 k cap this is the torque acting on that now the angular momentum is r cross p p is the linear momentum r is the position vector so m v p equals to m v m is 1 so r cross v put this value of r and v taking this cross product you will be get the value of l now taking dl dt you will be get this one and this is the exactly equal to this n so n equals to dl dt which is put clear next question next question says in the xy plane the uh, force component that is force along x direction this one force along y direction is this one compute the work done in the, in the displacement from this 1 1 2 2 2 
the two path that is a straight path from 1 1 to 2 2 and the another one is the 1 1 from 1 2 and then 1 2 from 2 2 then the force is conservative you exploit this your answer so the work done equal to force into displacement here the forces component is x and y so this is fx dx and fy dy put this value of fx and fy will be get this one now here the change is like that that is 1 1 to 2 2 so the equation of straight line equal to y minus 2 by 2 minus 1 that is y minus this 2 by 2 minus 1 this 2 y and x so you will be get this equation this stage line equation y equal to x so dy equal to dx so substitute all y in terms of x and dy in terms of dx you will be get this is x square this is x square into x that is also x square this is x square this is x square into x that is also x square so 3 x square x square x square x square 6 x square this is 6 x to the 4 by 4 that is 3 by 2 and this is 16 minus 1 that is 45 by 2 is the work done during this path straight path next portion when this path is break into two path that is uh, 1 1 2 1 2 and then 1 1 or 1 2 2 2 2 for uh, this one work done equal to like that from that path you can see this y equals to constant that is 1 so dy equals to 0 and x change from 1 to 2 so the work done becomes like 1 to 2 uh, x is q because y equals to 1 and dy equals to 0 so y equals to 1 you will be get x and this is x is square plus x x is q plus x dx if you integrating this thing and put this value x equals to 1 to 2 you can easily find out 21 by 4 and for second part the change is you can see the y value change uh, 1, 2, 2, uh, I draw the error in the diagram, okay, okay, I, I change this one, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, uh, x is same, y is different, actually the path will be like that, this is 1 and this is 2, okay, this is error, this is 1, comma 2 right so in the next case here the change uh, x equals to 2 so dx equals to constant oh sorry 1 to 2 uh, here the 1 1 to 1 2 that is x is constant i think this is uh, i do the error okay 1 2 2 1 comma 1 2 1 comma 2 so x equals 2 is 1 right and y change from 1 to 2 y change from 1 to 2 okay so dx equals to 0 dx equals to 0 here so this part 0 this part in this part x becomes 1 so you will be get y cube y cube and this is x and 3y 3y and this is dy and y change from 1 to 2 so this is y to the power 4 by 4 and this is y square by 2 y square by 2 so you will be get 1 by 4 to the power 4 minus 1 and 3 by 2 to square minus 1 so this become 3 by 4 that is no problem this is 3 by 2 into 3 that is 9 by 2 so 9 into uh, 2 that is 18 so this is uh, 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 I think this is the 9 uh, 9 to 18 uh, the 853 to 3 33 by 4 okay in the next path the y equals to 2 in the next path y equals to 2 and x changes from 1 to 2 so dy equals to 0 so dy equals to 0 means this is x is q this is x is q and this is um, y equals to x y equals to 2 so this is 4 4 x this is 4 x and this is dx 4 x and this is dx so you will be get this is y to the x to the power 4 by 4 and this is 4 x square so this is 2 x square right so this become right on and 2 x square so this is uh, 3 6 this is 6 so 24 so will be get 9 by 3 by 4 
so this is 33 33 and this is 39 so this become 4 74 so this become this become um, 3 37 by 2 the before one is 45 by 2 and this one is 37 by 2 right so this is non-conservative and this can all also find if you take the curl of a will we get this one please check this calculation if there is any error you must give it in the comment box okay go to the next one <coughs> the trajectory of particle of mass m is given by this is the x component this is the y component you need to find out the force torque about the origin and then the angular momentum will be like that and then express the potential energy kinetic energy and total energy so this is the r taking the first derivative with respect to time will be get the velocity taking the derivative with respect to time will be get the acceleration the force is mass into acceleration torque is r cross f and angular momentum r cross p so you will be get this one no problem next one it says about the potential energy and the kinetic energy what will be the potential energy potential energy is the work done that is if dot dr with minus sign so you take this force and displacement finally we get this potential energy and kinetic energy is nothing but the this one so total energy will be this one and you can see this is the not independent of time so this is the concept go to the next one next question says particle of mass m is projected at the angle alpha with the horizontal with velocity v the resistance of an air is mk times the instantaneous velocity so the time of total time of flight will be like that actually i did not solve this problem at this moment if anyone can do this you must comment in the comment otherwise if i can do this can solve it so i will be provided the link in the description box next question next question says particle moves under the influence of force field so this is the force field if the particle initially at rest so at time t equals to 0 for velocity equals to 0 prove that at any instant t the work done of the particle will be like that so this is the force acceleration becomes the force by mass and the velocity is the integration of this acceleration you will be get this one and at t equal to 0 this is rest so you will be get the constant equal to like that so finally you will be get the velocity if you take dv you will be get this one now the work done is nothing but f dot dr so f is mass into acceleration acceleration is dv dt so this can be written as the dv, dv and this is the v vector so put this value of v and dv you can easily find out this work done okay simple next question a particle of mass m fall under the gravity the viscous drag due to air k times the velocity so that the terminal velocity will be like that and also the height fallen at time t equal to like that so equation of motion will be like that mass into acceleration equal to mg minus kv so divided by m you will be get this one at the terminal velocity this must be equals to zero but at terminal velocity ter velocity is constant so the time derivative equals to zero so you will be get the terminal velocity mg by k now if you take this arrangement in this equation and uh, at t at, at t this distance becomes z so integration at first uh, derivative uh, integrate up from 0 to v you will be get the expression of velocity and after that again integrating from 0 to uh, z you will be get the value of z that is the uh, height fallen at time t clear next question a particle is subjected to frictional force of velocity decrease with the time this so this is the velocity decrease that's why the negative taking the derivative force will becomes like that and the position equals to integrating of this one so the uh, distance so this is the force and the distance travel before the stop will be c by 3 the stopping time is t1 that's why integrating 0 to t1 so this is the 3 i think clear this is all about me and this is my contact details you can connect with me with this telegram channel this is my online platform and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will be get different visited video uh, like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends either he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you need this channel those already subscribed thanks for subscription press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming video so take care we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you